You are welcome to this class and thank you for joining us. Here we want to solve this problem find the value of x in x minus 4 or raised to power 3 equals to minus 8. Now from here, let's take this minus 8 to this side and it become plus. So we have x minus 4 or raised to power 3 then plus 8 will be left it 0 here. Then we can also express it here to the power of a number to the power of 3. That will be x minus 4 raised to power 3 plus 2 raised to power 3 and equals to 0. So there is an identity here that is sum of 2q. We have a q plus b q. We can write it as a plus b into bracket a square minus a b plus b square now if we treat the left hand side like this identity taking x minus 4 as a and taking 2 as b so we are now going to have a plus b that's x minus 4 plus 2 so we have x minus 4 plus 2, that's a plus b. Then multiply by a squared, that's x minus 4 squared. Then minus a b, that's minus 2 times x minus 4. So we multiply a and b. Then plus b squared, that is 2 squared. And uh, we equate it to zero. So from here, we can simplify further, and uh, we have in this bracket what we have will be x minus two now, minus four plus two. That's minus two. Then multiply by when we expand this. So this will give us x squared minus eight x plus sixteen. Then we can use minus to expand this bracket. We have minus 2x plus 8, then plus 4, 2 squared, 4, then equals to 0. And uh, when we solve for that, this becomes x minus 2 multiplied by x squared. We can add the like terms together. Minus 8x minus 2x give us minus 10x then we have 16 plus 8 plus 4 to give us 28 that's plus 28 which is equal to 0 and we have two cases here we have x minus 2 equals to 0 and we still have the other one that is x squared minus 10x plus 28 equals to zero when we solve from this side we have x equals to two minus come here we come plus that's x equals to two now let's solve for x in this other equation which is a quadratic equation using the correct formula that is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a and in this case our a is quotient of x squared, a is 1, b is minus 10, from there b is minus 10, and c is 28, c is 28. We can substitute back here into this formula, which is quadratic formula, and we say x will then be equal to minus minus 10, then plus or minus square root of minus 10 squared, minus 4 a times 1 then c times 28 then all over 2 times 1 2 a then when we look at this this will give us x equals to we have minus times minus that's plus that will be 10 plus or minus square root of 10 square minus 10 square will be 100 then minus 4 times 1 times 28, that will give us 112, then divided by 2. So here we have x equals to 10 plus or minus 
we have we hundred minus one one two that will give us minus twelve all over two and square root of minus twelve we can separate it as square root of minus twelve can be written as square root of four times three times minus one and uh, square root of four that's two we can bring it out and this will be two root three and square root of minus one is i so we have 2 root 3 i and we can replace it back here and this will give us x equals to 10 plus or minus 2 root 3 i that's root minus 12 now then divide by 2 and when we separate this we can write it into fraction and say x equals to 10 over 2 plus or minus 2 root 3 i over 2 and 2 can divide 10 so 2 divided 10 we have 5 so this will be 5 plus or minus 2 can cut to here so remain root 3 r so we have this value of x which are two value imaginary root there so we can say that the first value of x we got x1 is s equals to 2 and the second value from there imaginary root is 5 plus root 3 r and we can say the third value of x give us 5 minus root 3 i and here we have these three solution one read and two imaginary and we say thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn the notification bell on for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now